Hello and welcome. Today we are going to explore inverse pens, but this time for solving ODE. Inverse pens is basically we have a governing equation, and in that governing equation we will have an unknown parameter. And a result of this governing equation, or basically we can get the data that we know it will be governed by this governing equation. And then we will calculate this hidden parameter. I made some videos on inverse bands. Please watch it to have more details about inverse bands. So in this section of this course, we are going to solve the damped harmonic oscillator for an inverse problem or inverse bands problem in which we will have data and we will have the governing equation of this damped harmonic oscillator. In this case, we will have the mu as unknown parameter, which will govern, will be multiplied, will be basically du over dt, which is related with the linear damping or kind of restrict the linear uh, damping. So this is what we are going to solve. Inverse pins for an ODE, that is the damped harmonic oscillator. So in the previous one, we have basically a network that that we apply, uh, we use it to to apply pins um, uh, for this ODE, in which we we are trying to have an input as time, and we are calculating the position of the pendulum or the mass in 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 as an output. In this time, we will have basically the whole uh, or some data from the solution of that governing equation and we will have of course the governing equation and we are trying to calculate mu as i said before so what is the differences between pins and inverse pins why so what is why it's different well basically because now we don't have the governing equation is a little bit have a value missing in that governing equation for that we need to find it and we have to find based on the data that generated or as a result of that governing equation so in pins problem you you have a governing equation and of course you have initial condition boundary condition and based on that you will compute the loss that be governed by this governing equation and then you will get and, and of course complied with the initial condition boundary condition to get the final solution of the whole uh, system or uh, all the data points or all the points the domain points you, you are trying to, co to compute in inverse pens you don't have this some part the, the, of the governing questions which is a parameter that you need to compute for that you will need results of the of that missing parameter so we know there is a, a missing parameter or we need to calculate but we know the results of that that governing equation for that specific parameter so what do we need here is we need these data to be used to optimize the inverse pens network so you will have the same pens network exactly the same as before and we will apply it we'll see how um, to use pins problem and then make it into inverse uh, pins problem so you will have this network exactly the same as here however we will add this hidden parameter as one of the optimization parameters in the pins problem we are uh, optimizing the, uh, the the weights and biases to compute the loss we need to compute but in inverse pins we need to add additional parameter which is the hidden parameter that we need to uh, this um, network to comply with of course we will have the data and using these data and the governing equations even though we don't know that specific uh, this mu value we will compute that loss and with these data using the data that is generated by that hidden parameter we will compute that hidden parameter and with that we would apply the inverse pens problem for this ODE. Now what we are going to do to solve an inverse problem as I said we need data 
pins doesn't need data. We don't really need specific data. We generate our data like kind of um, just generated to like virtual kind of data. But in this case, in inverse pins case, we need a data, a real data like time, x, that specific time, what is x, a specific time, what is x, in order to compute this problem. So the first thing we need is data. So what to, what to do? Of course, you can get the data. And in our case, we are going to generate this data. We are going to generate this data for a specific mu value. After that, we will define the network and we will define the parameter that we need to optimize. Of course, we will see how we will calculate the loss. And after that, we will train the model and evaluate our results. So we'll start having a governing equation with one missing value of mu. And then we will have also the data. These, not the, the this line, but, but actually these red points. We'll have just the data table, x, what is x, and what is the corresponding u. And on this time, what is the time, or in this point, uh, in this case, what is the time, and what is the corresponding um, like location of this mass. With that, we will compute our mu. So next classes or next um, videos, we will explore together how to create data, define the networks, and uh, of course calculate the loss and so on. But we will use a lot of code from our previous, or we will modify our previous code because we want to compare pens and inverse pens. With that, we uh, hopefully finish and uh, see you next time.